All right, let's go rip this cadet a new one. He's on the hood. Wow. <laughs> this guy's still taking a fucking nap. <laughs> What the hell? Let's go there, Sergeant. <laughs> Jesus, get up. Cadet. What the hell happened to that guy? Good day, good day. Cadet. Okay. Cadet. Acknowledge me. Hello, hello. Thank you. I'm Senior Officer Sinclair. Uh, how are you doing today? Good, yourself? I'm doing fine. Can I ask you a question? Yep. Why are you not on your radio comms? Um, because I have no trooper with me. Okay. Would you like to ride along with me, sir? Um, am I allowed to? Because I am uh, technically... Yes, uh, sir. High with yes, sir. You are allowed to ride with any FTO. Yeah, sure. Also, okay. Uh, I just want to let you know that no matter if, as long if you're on duty, you need to be in comms, okay? Uh, it, there doesn't need to be like another trooper on for you to be in. Okay. Yeah. I just figured if I was on a ride along, yeah, I would, but. No, that's fine. Okay, no problem. Yeah. So just hop into comms and then uh, uh, we'll meet you. In the parking lot, I'm in a Ford Explorer. Cool. User join your channel. Watch. Be a sergeant and be paid to just fucking lay down, whatever. I'm sure Chris will yell at him soon. Hope so. Uh, I'll drive from here on out, cadet, sorry. <laughs> Ouch. I don't need the liability of you hurting another cadet. But but before that, how how was my driving? It was great. It was fantastic. Awesome. All right, so cadet uh, highway patrol, what's your name, sir? Case Duffy. Case Duffy. I don't know if I can open your cadet sheets, so unfortunately I won't be able to mark anything off on you tonight or today. That's fine. It's all experience. Exactly. Good way of thinking about it. All right, let's get out there. <clears throat> uh, cadet. Oh, boy. Now I have to actually remember your names. Oh, boy. Cadet Jericho. And I'm sorry. What? <laughs> cadet Highway Patrol. Duffy. What? Duffy. Duffy. Thank you. Duffy. Duffy, Jericho, Jericho, Duffy, Duffy, Jericho, Jericho. Okay, I, I'm really bad with names. I'll always sit in the front seat. Good, that good. Let's keep it that way. Duffy, you're in the back from today, from <laughs> here forward. Yeah, put me with the criminals, <laughs> no problem. Well, equality at its finest. Yeah. Oh crap, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, because we are gonna have to actually arrest people too. Shit, because there's no oh, yeah. other cops on. Um, that's fine. We'll all hold somebody. People, we'll have to have people sit in our laps if that happens. Um, okay. Not gay if they're going to prison. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard a more untruthful statement. <laughs> okay. Um, have you ever heard the word "say I do"? She really doesn't. <laughs> oh boy! All right. Four That's five why plus two. Divorce is such at a high rate. Ah, I'm not even tabbed in. All right, let's go. Let's get out there. All right, so anybody have any preferences on where we want to go? Well, I know where we're going right now. Whoops. Well, God, sorry. I thought I wanted to turn right, but I didn't. Okay, we got a brown shirt guy, a brown pants guy, running in the middle. 
Anybody else see anything else? I uh, just running over to Legion. Black suit jacket, black pants headed back towards the cars, and this man right here. Getting on his bike now, the yellow bike. Heading southeast. To go right. The other guy? No, the, no, I was talking, yeah, about the other guy. Motorbike, yellow. Did you see it? I didn't see it. I don't either. 4 and 5 plus 2 going to be on the lookout for a yellow motorbike, possible CDS. Alright. Well, I got four extra eyes with me, so. Wow, I thought that department was dead. <laughs> In fact, we should pull that guy over for impersonating an officer. <laughs> Yeah, we're no kidding. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, yellow motorcycle, where the fuck are you? I was also at that last uh, possible EDS over uh, go by Grove Street, maybe. It was but at that prior one that we went to. Was Wait, there was a CDS at Grove Street. Maybe it's him. Maybe. It might not have been Grove. It might have been, uh, what am I thinking of? Uh, Strawberry. There we go. Left Strawberry Ave. It was that first one we responded to before we went over to Vespucci. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, by Legion, you mean? Yeah, and he was also in the area. Same Vic. And same clothes. Okay. Are we still getting calls over there? We are, aren't we? All yeah, right. we just got a CDS to our right hand side. To our right? What? Yep. Oh, down by Grove. God damn it. Alright, you someone yeah, choose. Or, or that, right or left? <laughs> Going to this one, right there. He's got two hits. Alright. You turn, yeah. <laughs> it's right just south of us. Alright, what do we got? Three individual. Oh, looks like we got another ping. Looks like we're over by the stadium now, huh? This actually should be easier to catch. Probably in this group right here. There's the yellow yeah, bike right there. I got eyes on him. Eyes on. Him. Oh, there's the yellow here bike. Here comes. He's coming out. Sir, get off the bike. Thank you. How are we doing today, officer? Good, how are you doing? Doing pretty good, you? Uh, it looks, looks like we have a party on the go here. Yeah, it uh, seems like that. Uh, sir, what are, you, what are you doing in this uh, area? Hmm? Well, uh, I was here for the uh, fame and shame auditions. They wanted uh, a new trailer park supervisor for the upcoming Trailer Park Boys movie. Oh, okay. And where are you coming from? I was coming from Legion Square. Oh, where are you? What, what were you doing over in uh, Legion Square? Well, I thought Pops might be around because I wanted the daily dosage of political propaganda. Right, right. Okay, so see, here's the problem, sir. We were getting some uh, CDS calls. Uh, that means controlled drug substance calls. And uh, we were getting them over there by Legion Square, and in fact, we saw a yellow motorcycle, not unlike yours, uh, drive away. Uh, we then proceeded to, you know, head over uh, around the corner to follow the bike, but it was gone, of course, because why do bikes go slow? They don't. Uh, and then we got some more CDS calls. Again, that's a controlled drug substance. And uh, we got those over by Legion Square-ish around that area. <laughs> Uh, we didn't see who was over there, but we got another ping just just now in fact uh, right here And you know, it's uh, just a little odd to me officers. I don't know about you But there's a yellow bike sitting right there in front of me. Do does it you know, stand a reason that? Uh, all these three calls are related I don't It know. could be I'm a severe coincidence, lost. but it could be you know, a severe coincidence see, I, see, but. I, I'm not uh... I'm not Sherlock Holmes or Matlock or anything like that. I haven't played those roles in 
any of the movies I've done, but I can tell you that I'm not an expertise in connecting the dots, if you get what I'm trying to get at. Well, that's fine. So that's my job, and that's why I do that. That's why I connect the dots, and I'm connecting the dots. So uh, do you have anything uh, on the bike that I should know about, or maybe on your person? No, not at all. Like I said, maybe a couple of scripts of uh, Trailer Park Boys episode that I'm auditioning for. I'm hoping I get the role. Are you a fan of that TV series? No, sir. No, I'm not. Uh, do you have any weapons on you, sir, that I should know about? Uh, oh, yeah. I got, like, a shotgun on me for sure. You have a shot? Your shotgun on you? Where? Where is that? Uh, I think it's in my uh, pants. <laughs> I can drop it for you. Uh, your pants, sir, or the weapon? I would really appreciate it if you didn't drop your pants. I, I, I'm not, I don't know what you're saying. Are you, are you propositioning me? Are you soliciting prostitution? Okay, sir, go ahead and uh, show me the weapon. Is it a legal weapon? All right. Um, define legal. Did you pay for it legally with legal cash, and do you own a permit to own the weapon? Um, I do, did pay for this with legal cash. Um, the paperwork, uh, is a little, uh, uh, fuzzy. I have an insurance card from the Gun Owners Association of America. Okay, can I, again, can I see the weapon, sir? I'd like to see the serial All number. Right. Hey, what the fuck are you looking at? Get out of here. Sir, are you going to pull the weapon from your drawers and show me the weapon okay well sure then I can just take a look at that does that work for you I sure that's fine uh where did you buy this uh at ammunition you bought this at the ammunition Yes, correct. What, uh, what is it, a thought of? The, uh, yeah. Car dealership. Right. Yeah, they sell those there. Oh, they do? Okay. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, yeah. A, I'm unfamiliar. I, I get all my weapons from the PD, so I don't really know. Um, okay. All right. I use, it, uh, I, use it for, I use it for hunting. I shot it deer back in the countryside the other day after I hit it with my car. Okay, so you bought this from the ammunition then? Correct. Okay, so it's safe to assume that the proper identification came along with this weapon so here you go sir you can have this back uh Thank you. oh boy how do i do that um can you step away cadet just in case i give this to you all right you know what uh if you want if you want to keep it you can because you're not familiar with the weapon it's fun to go out in the countryside and shoot animals with no, sir, I have no need for the weapon. And besides, that would be completely illegal with that, I don't know, what kind of gun transfer laws or whatever, I don't know how it works, how you just give a weapon to somebody, but I don't want to take it. I think it's uh, I think it's Section 3 of the People's Freedoms, Choices, and Voices Act, but I'm not familiar with the law very well. Yeah, anyways, um, do you have anything else on you that uh, I should be aware about? have an empty pistol that uh, I picked up off the ground after a bunch of gangsters last night over at uh, Grove Street decided they didn't like me hanging around in their territory. You picked a pistol up off the ground. All right, that... There's no uh, ammo or anything in it. I would like to look at that as well. Okay, but I mean, it's probably going to have like Thug Life written on it or something like that. It's not mine. It's not yours. Okay, well, I would like to see the weapon. Thank you. Oh boy. Like I said, there's, there's no ammo. I picked it up as uh, evidence because I was going to go down to the police station and uh, put a, a file of charges on uh, the Grove Street gang, but I never got around to doing it because uh, just got busy with things, you know? Yeah. Well, this is. I'm going to keep this because if I give this back to you, it's going to give mine to you. So I'm just going to keep this since you picked it up off the ground, anyways. It's an illegal weapon. So yeah, you might be able to find it as a murder weapon at some point. Yeah, I will take this and collect it as evidence. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you have anything else on you? I I would like to search you. Would you mind if I searched you? Well, 
I gave you everything I have. Well, that's I, I, that's fine, sir, but I, I would just like to pat you down to make sure that there's nothing else on you, especially since there were, again, there was a call about drugs, controlled drug, drug substances with a yellow bike who sped away, and you match that description, so I would like to pat you down. Well, I have nothing to hide, officer, so go right for it. All right, just turn around for me, put your, kind of spread your hands for me. Thank you. Do do okay. All right, all right. So where'd this? Uh, I'm seeing eleven. Look at this. Look at this. I got a baggie here. It's got eleven pills in it. What is this? Oh yeah, that's uh, my medicinal Molly. Um, I'm on the sex addiction uh, program. This is the third okay, I I've heard of you. <clears throat> Okay, well, yeah, I, I have I have a pro I have problems with my sexuality. I've explained this. Uh, I've been publicly shamed for it. Um, I've had to jump through great loopholes to try to uh, have my uh, case known. Yeah, I've I've heard of you and your doctor. Uh, give yeah. me give me a second. I'm just gonna check the Discord in my car really quick to see what the verdict on that, or maybe if I can update myself on that because I actually don't remember what the. What everybody was talking yeah, about I'm with on, it. Uh, I'm on step eight, which is um, uh, don't jerk off and procreate. It's uh, part of the prison stop program where I take the Molly and it makes me uh, try to you know keep my equilibrium hormonally. Because look, look, if I don't take it, look, look at this girl coming. I'm like, oh my god, look at those pants. I just want to oh, 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 see. I get all crazy. Okay, sir. Well, I'm glad you're taking steps to prevent that, but I don't think that uh, Molly, which is Oh god, what is it? MDMA? That's not a controlled drug controlled substance. That's not a legal substance that doctors would prescribe. Uh, my doctor does because it prevents me from doing sex crimes. All right, is there is there a phone number I can call? Do you have your doctor's phone number? Um, he's gone to the Bahamas over the holidays. I had to like call him uh, long distance at a hotel. Uh, to get that prescription faxed in, and uh, I can't reach it right now. I tried. Okay. Well, here's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna, I'm really gonna need you to cooperate. And I'm really gonna need you to understand my words here. I'm gonna take the prescription from you, and if it's a real prescription, when this case, because I'm, I'm thinking this is a case, or there's some kind of investigation going on, when it's all settled and done, at the end of it. I'm sure that you'll get your prescriptions back. All right. You know what? I understand. Um, that's you're a lot better than the previous officer who took my prescription. I ended up going to Legion Square, dancing like some sort of floozy on the street corner. But I'm going to be okay because I've taken the dosage I needed today. Okay. I mean, and if so, just describe the, you know, the situation to your doctor and say, listen, my prescription was taken again. Can I please get another one? And I'm sure that will be fine. And if you need that, um, here, I can, I can write a, can't I? Can I not write? Can, what is the thing for the writing of the notes? I'm trying to write you a police note for your doctor, but I can't seem to find my notepad. Anyways, do any of you guys have a notepad on you? Let me grab one. Guys have been awful quiet. The cat got your tongue. Nope, just listening to your ridiculous story, sir. Oh, so you're a uh, pro sex crime then, I guess, if that's the case, because I'm trying to keep myself together. Well, we'll uh, we'll have to verify this uh, before we can allow you to have any of it, because uh, it is a controlled substance and uh, not something that's generally prescribed. Um, especially the sex addicts, because it kind of makes you more aroused. Officer, who ever get that feeling that you're in heat beyond any insatiable feeling you've ever had? All right, so here's a note from me to your doctor. And if it is a doctor, then... All right. Yeah, so 
I mean, regardless, this note really doesn't mean anything. I mean, a, do a real doctor would look at this and either say yes or no to it, whatever, because uh, legitimately they would be the ones writing the prescription anyways. So uh, you either will or will not get the prescription from your doctor. So that's all on you, but you, here's this for you. So there you go. Well, I appreciate it because uh, the last time my prescription was taken away from me by this officer. He made me publicly exclaim that I was bisexual, which is something I wasn't comfortable in doing, but I am bisexual. Uh, and, you know, it just it just broke down to the point where I ended up dancing for money in Legion Square, and the whole thing was just a big shit show. I can handle this confrontation. This was uh, very, very well done by you, officer. Very professional. Well, thank you, sir. I try to do my, I try to conduct myself as professional as possible, so I appreciate it. And I appreciate your cooperation with us today. Hey, any time for the, the finest in blue. Thank you. Uh, my name is Senior Officer Matrix Sinclair. Uh, I have with me on the left Cadet Jericho and on the right Cadet Duffy. Nice to meet you, Cadets. Yes. All right, nice sir. Nice to meet you as well, Mr. Cyrus. Well, you know, and this here, if you haven't seen it before, is a guy who has a sex addiction, but I have it under control. Yes, sir. I, you know what? I, I don't even understand sex addictions because, I mean, I don't have a sex addiction. I like sex, but I can't get it. So for someone who just has a sex addiction and just can go out and go get sex, that's pretty great, I guess. Well, you know, the, the, the thing is, it gets, um, you ever get those feelings and urges where it's just, just like an itch you just can't get rid of? So I'm a police officer forever. with a weapon. I get those urges a lot. Oh, yeah. But what you get with a gun, I get with my gun. <laughs> I get with my dread. Yeah, I, I gotcha. But mine won't shoot blanks. I just keep shooting away. Oh, boy. Well, I mean, hmm. Uh, so you're so you're going to what like a um, AA for sex addicts? I guess it would be like SAA sex addicts. Yeah, and SAA. Yeah, yeah. We we uh, we meet uh, twice a week and uh, we just try to keep ourselves on track. You know, sometimes we have slip ups. Like one morning I woke up and my hands were in my pants and I was just I was like, why did I do that? But I was sleeping. So like, I mean, it's not really my fault. Right. It's my brain's fault. What does the guy say, like, when you tell him that? Like, what is what kind of advice does he usually give for you? Well, when I talk to uh, my psychologist, uh, she says, uh, just take off your clothes, and I have to, like, lay next to her. And she asks me a bunch of questions about my childhood. And, uh, you know, I, I try you're to... Okay. Wait a second. Your psychologist asks you to take your clothes off and then, and then has you, like, s s say what you say? Yeah, yeah, she gets me to take my clothes off, and then uh, she sits next to me and pats my head down and says it's going to be okay, sugar plum. And then uh, the session goes on for about 20 minutes. I'm sorry, what's your uh, what's your psychologist's name? Oh, uh, uh, Dr. Steinberg. Dr. Steinberg. And, um, Dr. St what? I'm sorry, what was, what was your name, sir? Uh, Cyrus White. Cyrus White. Cyrus White. I've been seeing her for about uh, eight months now. She's really good at her job. Eight months? And when did the when did the clothes coming off happen? When did that start happening? Um, usually after she gives me a drink and uh, she says uh, to have a big gulp of this and then go lay down. She gives you. Yeah, that's, she gives that's you. Medicine like wine, sir. I need to talk to you about your choice in medical professionals because I'm seeing a recurring issue here and we might need to get you better help. Um, yeah, but, you know, she's the only one that's covered by my insurance, Agni Insurance. She's the only one in the state of Los Santos that's covered by your insurance. So what kind of insurance do you have? Uh, Ogden Insurance, I mean, they only give a qualified, Who? Uh, educated uh, sexologist. Who? 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 What? Oh, what's the name, sir? Sexologist sounds like a sex offender. Who's the... Do okay, so Dr. Steinberg, seeing her for eight months, your name's Cyrus White. Who? Who? Oh, what was the question? Who's your insurance? 
Who is your insurance? Uh, Og Ogni Insurance. Ogni? How do you spell that? Uh, A-U-G-N-E-Y. Well, let me check it here. N-E-Y? Who the fuck? Insurance. Oh, wait. Uh, you know what? I'll show you my insurance card. Hold on. Ogni. Dude. No. Where do you work? Oh my god, he's actually got an insurance card. Hold yeah, that's, that, that's, that's my insurance card. Uh, they, they cover all my treatments. Where did you get this? Like, where did you get this? Um, I know this guy named... Ow! Thank you, Cadet. What are you doing? Alright. Ogni Oh, Augury! Holy shit! This is an actual yeah. thing you have. That's so weird. Yeah, yeah, it... Um, they, uh, specialize in, uh, disorders, like myself. Oh, I'm... Wow, that's nuts. Okay, well, listen. I don't know if this insurance company is legit, because I've never heard of it. Uh, you might want to go through, like, Morse Mutual. I don't know if you know who they are, but that's a legitimate company, and I'm sure if you have a legitimate job, they can cover you through there. So, I don't know what you do for work, but you might want to change insurance companies. Where do you work again? Oh, I, I, uh... I'm a, I'm a security officer at the, the mall, and sometimes I look uh, after courtside at the Panic Games behind us here. Okay, security uh, Panic Games. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just writing all this stuff down, just so I know who you are for the future. Oh, yeah, no, you can you can build up the case, and I don't I don't panic or anything, you know. Ha, ha see? Yeah, what I did there. I, I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Panic we got games. what you did there, sir. Panic Games. <laughs> okay, so... Okay. So yeah, Dr. Dr. Steinberg, you know, I, I think she's a very qualified, very good individual. Um, I, I leave I leave her sessions feeling satisfied. And, you know, I oh God. <laughs> oh no, I need uh, to talk to this doctor. Yes, cadet. <sighs> Did you run his, his ID? I didn't. Would you like to run it in the database, sir? Uh, I need permission. Oh, oh, okay, well, take my clipboard. <laughs> Here, I can run him. No, his, in the RMS, oh, cadet. How does he have permissions and I don't? No, he what? doesn't. Uh, but as you were saying, can you so she kind of just... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. But I need to know how to spell his name. Yeah, Cyrus White. Uh, C Y R U S, -R -U -S. and then white. So common spelling. Yeah. And then are any are the capitals weird or is it capital uh, C capital W? Oh, just a capital C and a capital W. Perfect. Well, the R M S is finicky. It's it. Yeah, it matters. Oh, I, I understand. Alrighty, what do we got here? Uh, Cyrus White. Yeah, he's, he's good, guys. Um, okay. Well, was there anything else that you wanted to tell us about, I don't know, your, your pharmacist, your fucking, who else would be medical professional around you? <laughs> Does your optometrist uh, do anything weird to you, sir? No, I, um, no, they don't just accept um, my optometrist just looks at my balls. No, that ah, okay. I hope you're referring I'm to your sure. eyeballs, sir. <laughs> of course I am eyeballs. Oh, what yeah. else? Yeah, right. Yeah, I, I almost panicked she there. Looks at them really good too, like real deep. Mm -hmm, yeah. Are you on some other kind of medication, sir? <laughs> uh, Prozac, uh, because I had to come out on uh, Life Invader as bisexual and I lost a bunch of friends. Yeah. Uh, officer, do you have any recollection of him giving you a firearms identification card? Oh, I have his... I still have your insurance card. Uh... Let me see. Did I put it in my wallet? No, I don't... I don't have a weapons ID. I have my weapons ID card, but... Not this individual. Okay. Here, well, like you can I have said, your insurance I, card. I, I did buy this shotgun, um, from Ammunition. They wouldn't have sold it to me unless I had the proper credentials, correct? Right. The the only issue I'm having right now is that you don't have the credentials on you. Um, 
God damn it. An officer, can, you know, let me know if I'm overstepping. Uh, I'm on a, I mean, if, are you 100% certain that he need that he has the... Is there a card that he ha has to have? Because I'm unaware of that, actually. When I was a civvy, when I was a civvy, I had to have a card on me at all times. Okay. For state law. Okay. Um, Is that in this city, though? Yeah, no, it, I got hired on yesterday. I've been here for two weeks, a week and a half. All right, so I think our confidence level and your knowledge is kind of low, so maybe we should just uh, forget about this. You guys seem to be really busy. Uh, I'm busy too, and uh, maybe we should just go our own ways. I agree, officers. Uh, this gentleman has eaten up enough of our time, and we him, so we can all just go about our days. He was very cooperative with us. Yes. Yep. You have yourself a good day, Mr. White. You too, Have a good one. Yeah. Stay safe out there. You too, sir. All right. Justice served.